So wait, this not going in the pot, it's going the on second, here. The second one going in the pot. Oh. You see, you tied up with your grandmother because I know there are many tied different up. applications. I know she does do the sorting of yeah, cook a frap yeah, one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confuse your second there. If you love food, then you're in the right spot because this is How To Foodie Nation. Today, Chef Jason is going to teach us all about smoked herring. Two ways. So let's get cooking. Smoked herring fans, mm -hmm. I've been dying for this. This one is for you. This one is for you. I mean, especially the elderly folks. I mean, my dad loves smoked herring. That is his thing. Smoked herring is a breakfast food for like... Everybody I know. We did saw fish burjol some time mm -hmm. ago and people were asking for the smoke herring and obviously yeah. we're at this point. But then we're going to be doing it two ways as Kezi mm -hmm. mentioned. And uh, we're going to be doing more of a burjol style on one way. Mm -hmm. And the next one we're going to be frying it up with onions. So we have options. Yes. So join us. Let us do this. Yes. So smoked herrings. Open up your windows. <laughs> because it, it, trust me, it's strong. In addition to that, when yeah. you start to touch these bad boys, it's going to be absorbed into all your pores because that smoky oiliness, mm -hmm. it's not forgiving. And why do they smoke herrings? Or why did they smoke herrings back Obviously in the day? Obviously for, uh, for keeping process mm -hmm. in terms of a long Similar to saltfish yeah. for preserving. Exactly. And it's because of that smokiness also, that's a preservation. Mm -hmm. We get this uh, intrinsic quality of what smoke herrings are all about. That's right. strong. And it is very powerful. A little bit goes a long way. Yes. Hence the reason how we apply it today is very important. So let's start. Okay. So I have some fillets here. Mm -hmm. These are how they come. Right. And uh, as you can see, the skins are off them. You could get this in the market form also, like when you go in the market, the yeah. whole fillets. But they're readily available like these. And uh, you would see in a little while why I went for this one. Okay. So we're going to put some hot water on top of it. So we're putting hot water on it instead of boiling it, because I know a lot of people boil it. Some people do boil it. I would agree with you. There's no need to typically boil it. Not that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. The fillets are very tender. And okay. there's no need to boil it per se because it tends to mash up very easily. Right. They're gentle. So some whole salt water, sorry, not salt water, but the water, boiling water, boiling water will mm -hmm. pull the salt out of it. Right. It will also rehydrate it, mm -hmm. soften it up, and of course, Cook make it, it ready bit. and more pliable for us. Yes. So, Kezi, for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. And we're going to check back with it. All right. So, Kezi. Yes. We soaked it in the hot water. Right. I rinsed it with a little bit of cold water after and I okay. squeezed it dry. Okay. What we're going to be doing is looking at this very closely. These are the fillets. They, mm -hmm. This is what they look like when they're hydrated. They're soft now, they're pliable. And I see the bones already sticking out because oh they're soft. Oh my up. God, but they're, you know, the thing about the bones are that they're not that bad per se in terms of if you leave one or two inside. They're not going to choke you per se, but you want to try to remove as much as you can. Of course. Don't beat up too much. And what I have here is a little bit of water in a bowl that helps me so that when I take it out, you know, I don't be like, let me show you what's going to happen. It would stick to your fingers, It would stick to your fingers no? and it's like, oh, yeah. you know, so just dip it in some water. That's smart. And as you go along, you're going to see them. They're very fine, ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Take them out. Have a little bit of patience. But again, you don't need to take out all. You want to take out the large ones. And then there are some fine ones inside here. Okay. So then you open, you split it down in the center and you would find some big ones again. See? So... You that's need, the thing. You need a few minutes to get this I done. I need a little few minutes, nevertheless. Okay. After that, what I'm going to do is then flake it up a little bit and break it down. So, oh, <sighs> You seem like you're enjoying this, so I won't interrupt you. Carry on. Carry on. So, Kezi, mm -hmm. as you can see, I've already broken, broken it up into small little fragments. Right. It's very similar to the application of when you're making buljol or swordfish yes. buljol. Yes, yes, yes. So I've taken the liberty and I did some ahead of time. So, idly, I'm just going to mix everything together. So, okay. this is what we have going on here, as you can see that. And I mean, there are little, little bones still there, but like you said, it's not a it's problem. It's not a big thing. You cannot take out all this. They're very, very fine. <laughs> so, as you mentioned earlier on, we're doing two applications today. So, I'm going to split it again in two. Let's take out half of it. Does that look like half to you? I mean, yeah, we're we closer there. We're closer there. Let me take oh, out a little more. more. Oh, my lord. <laughs> you're looking like half there, right? A little more again. Something, kind of. You looking all right? You know what? Either way, it's going to get eaten. So, <laughs> leave us alone. Let's start with our bulldog first. first and foremost. Okay. Pan on medium to high heat. We mm -hmm. are adding some uh, vegetable oil inside there. You could add coconut oil. You could add olive oil inside there. It's not a big thing. The coconut idea is that nice. we're trying to heat it up. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get started on this. Mm -hmm. I want to bring this one on this side. Um, 
Good this. thing for my oil to heat. Right. So give me those. This is not for me? No, that's not for you as yet. You oh. are just heating up the oil there. Oh. 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 You taking my spoon? I thought she was going to let me do, do you, it. Do you spoon? Why are you taking my spoon? <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I couldn't even respond to you on that one. Let me just okay, give you a look. So you're heating up the oil there for me. Right. So we're adding in our green sweet peppers. So wait, this not going in the pot, it's going the on second, here. The second one going in the pot. Oh. You see, you tied up with your grandmother because I know there are many different applications. I know she does do the sorting of yeah, cook up for yeah, one yeah, here. Yeah, 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 confuse yeah, confused. second there. We're going in with sive inside there, scallions. Uh, scallions. Tomatoes. Right. Pimentos. Mm -hmm. Right, and then lastly, we're going in with our onions on top. A good way to get your vegetables in. And it's colorful, huh? So you've got to mix that there. Just okay. have that going on inside there. The idea now, Kezi, is that we're going to add a little bit of black pepper inside mm -hmm. there, just to see that. No salt. We don't need it. Why? Because we don't have it in there. She know this stuff. It's uh, already in there, Your country girl. Where are you from? Tell the people where you're from. I mean, I'm a proud salty. She's a salty. Salt is not a country, though. So let me ask you something. Do you need a visa to go down there? You see, guys, we're not going to start this conversation. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm asking, not tolerating it a, at all. I have a very good friend. Uh -huh. And he said that's how his mother-in-law is from Pfizer Mm-hmm. And she makes this in the morning for him. Mm -hmm. Right? And she, he loves going there a lot. So I was like, all right, cool. He said, but I southern love. So I'm just associating it. Listen, that's Listen. all that I'm doing. Pfizer is right there. You could go all now to get it from his mother. <laughs> Hot oil. It's hot now. All right, so sure. you want to put it on top? Okay, Just okay. And you're going to hear that. That's what we're talking about. There we Smoke go. Smoke herring. And Onion. Onion. you smell it one time. And that actually helps to just like cook the onions a little bit, mm -hmm. make them a little more softer. They also bring out the flavor and all of the other aromatics. And you can see that the onions are cooking because they're becoming translucent. Correct. You're so right. So things are and happening. And uh, you're getting, a more, apart from just the smoke flavor, you're getting that nice cooked um, aromatic feel of the, yes. the vegetation inside there, such as the peppers. Yeah, the pimentos in there. Check that out. Beautiful stuff. You look like you want to take that whole spoonful. Listen, I need some, maybe some fry bake to go with this. Yeah. You know what? Let us leave this here to just kusume for a little while. Number two. And let's start. So, put on our saucepan. Saucepan on. Saucepan on, high mm -hmm. heat. And what we're going to do here is the next version of frying up our smoke herring yes. with onions. Yes. This so this happens in the pot. This happens in the pot. So this is more or less a, like a nice fresh salad approach. Okay. Which works well also. Mm -hmm. And this will go well with salad roti, fry bake. Um, coconut bake. Coconut bake. We made homemade bread. All those right. things we made, you know. Mm -hmm. When you think about it. Yeah, yeah. We made fry bakes. Someone told me that they were fry bake recipes. Epic. It's linked down below. Just in case you want to try it. <laughs> and let's, so let's get on with this let's one Let's get on then. with this. So you want to add... Can I have my oil, please? Oil inside Thank there. You. High heat. So you want to put all inside there. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, get that from you, you're Thank going you. to then put in your onions. Onions. So these are sli thi uh, sliced thinly, and uh, you're going to create a nice uh, texture with this. In terms of when it fries, it's going to give a lot of uh, uh, flavor coming out of it. It's going to also drape around these the fragments of the smoke herring going yep. on. And to add more flavor to it, we have sliced scallions, mm -hmm. or scythe, and some minced pimento peppers. Put them in. Now, at this point, ladies and gents, if you are a fan of pepper, you can take a piece of habanero for a scotch bonnet, burn pepper, mince it up finely, and put it inside there. Okay. Burn in the oil, you're going to get a really peppery kick. By all means, nothing is wrong with that. Okay? But if we're trying to keep it friendly here right now, we just omitted it, and we no use pepper. pimento peppers. So, Kezi, what you want to do is fry these up for about two mm -hmm. minutes, until it becomes fragrant, aromatic, and the onions become translucent. Okay. So, Kezi, you get in the room, any atmosphere, right? That smell is strong and lovely. It just reminds me of like sometimes when you order a good burger and you get mm -hmm. those onions on top. Chef, onions are so flavorful. Like I love that this, this dish is mostly onions. They will bring so much joy to that you see, fish. Smoke herring tends to be a bit smoky. Yeah. It's pungent, it's salty. So this brings Onion some is sweetness. Perfect. Perfect. Because they Bring empty it this smoke herring inside here now. Thank you, sir. This is the next half. Remember, we did the first application in a bulljol style. This is our fried up smoke herrings with onions now. I might get everybody in the dance. <laughs> Thank you. Mix it up nicely. 
And as you mix it up, it's gonna, as I said, the onions are gonna drape over it nicely. And, oh, yeah, look at mm -hmm. that. Look at that. The smell in here, listen. Now, this is just the basics we're teaching here, ladies and gents. Feel free, you can add more herbs inside there. You can add shadow then you can add celery inside. It works. Get creative. You know, make the dish yours. We are just teaching you all the, the basics and inspiring you guys to try this at home. Actually, you know what, guys? Tell us in the comments below what else would you put in your smoked herring? Yes. What other veggies you get down within there? So, Kazi, you want to cook this for about a minute or two. Okay. You see it's starting to stick to the pan. Yes. So that's good. And uh, pretty much in two minutes, we should be ready to enjoy these two types of smoked herring. All right, let's plate up. All right, let's do this. Chica, chica, chica. I feel like a DJ. I mix it up twice for you. <laughs> This is the second time you just left me speechless. But I really want to focus on the food. Y'all did yourself with this presentation, do? I give it up. Listen, I give it up. Listen, some people say I come show goodness. I know what presentation. Because the, pre the presentation no, college no, students. Just prick it. Y'all know y'all love it. me. <laughs> Ignore this corny man. Chef, I think we did an amazing job. We have them two ways. We have our choke away and our fried way. Yes. But I need you to do something for me. Since we have two ways, you need to taste them. Oh, well, I did. Be the judge and I let did. me know which one you like best. Okay, so dal rice and smoked herring. Yes. It is a great combination. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, my dad loves this, hence the reason why I decided to pair it with the rice and dal. And then you have crackers. With and crackers, some good crackers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try with this one first. Okay. So here we're going to go. This is our burger all approach, right? So we're going to go inside there. Bottoms up, let's go. Option one. Okay, so we dance in, mm -hmm. we, we hyping up, mm -hmm. we hyping up. I love it, Kazi. You love it. I love it. Some of the nice butteriness of the biscuit works very well with it. And how are those fresh veggies in there? Still nice and crunchy? The mere fact that we didn't cook them, mm -hmm. I know you wanted to cook them earlier on. Yeah. You get a nice crunch. So you get the sweetness of the peppers, right. the tomatoes, the right. fruitiness coming right. inside here. And in addition to that, it's not overly smoky because the fattiness of this biscuit really got cut nicely with it. Okay. So salad roti, fry bake, homemade bread, coconut bake, roast bake will be excellent accompaniments if you're doing the bulge on approach. Okay. So what about option two? Let's move over to this. Now, I made some dal. Mm -hmm. If you guys want us to make dal, if you're interested about this dal, let us, let know. us know because we let haven't made know. dal on the show, so I decided to show up today. Let us know after you subscribe to our channel. So. How you do this is the perfect bite. Right. Dal, rice, and smoke herring, and you mix it in like that. Okay. And there we go. You ready to do this? Go. You are the judge here, you know. Oh, God. So we was dancing the first time, and, and, now, and now we lost. We speechless. Listen, if I was not shot, I'd have probably go in the country and find a nice country here. <laughs> because this is, you know, my grandmother used to speak about this a lot. Mm -hmm. And only when I got old, I started to eat dal, rice, and smoke herring. Yeah. She said it was so comforting, simplistic, country style food and I see what she means you know God rest her soul now she's gone but I'm Aww. glad she inspired me it's the, the taste is and, the and share it with yeah. you guys so who is the winner there's no winner here I really like both approaches it's an equal tie it's an equal tie I really can't no, to be honest with you I do like this one but it's so different from this one yeah this one's more of a snack this one's more of a meal actually tell us guys when you try a recipe which one do you like best so are you team Bulljol style or are you team fried style yes, yes yes we'll be waiting to hear from you until next time, I need to try it too. Yeah, go ahead. So bye-bye.